Hey now, I'm Wit. Welcome back to the channel. Inside is a brand I've been wanting to check out for quite some time now. This is the Swiss company, The Electricians, their latest, the Crypto Edition. Let's rip it open. And make sure you watch this entire video so you can find out how you can win your very own brand new watch of this Crypto Edition. Here goes. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Very techno. Ready for a sticker peel? Wow, that's crazy cool. Would you look at that? What do you think of that bad boy? Man. Ah, I love that case. Anything on the back? Oh, yes. You get all the sticker peels today. Ooh, crisp. Cool case back. All right, let's get this little tag out so we can get her ticking. Uh, this is obviously a quartz, uh, but they do have uh, an automatic uh, watch in their lineup now too. Let me spin the hands around to a spot where they're a little uh, less cluttered on the dial. Your favorite, well, my favorite, 910 instead of 1010. <laughs> and there we see, so that center disc is the second hand. That's pretty slick. Wow, so all right, let's talk about all that's going on here. It's uh, got a bunch going on for it, doesn't it? Man, I see that uh, blue anti-reflective coating on the crystal already. So this is a stainless steel case. It's got a uh, PVD coating in black, but it's got this water treatment effect to get that uh, a little bit more of that crypto theme. It almost looks camouflaged to me, but I guess it, in actuality, it's more of that uh, crypto um, online kind of theme going for it. You see that's carried out through the strap. Oh, wow, look at that. That is textured. That's cool. And then it's on the underside as well. Maybe helps with some of the uh, breathability. And then it got a little more of the digital effect going on on the strap itself. Uh, so the crystal is a K1 a hardened mineral crystal. And that is the reason why. Look at that side profile. That thing sticks up nice and beefy. So they're probably going for more of a shatterproof crystal in this regard. But look at that. So underneath is um, a little bit of UV uh, green printing and you can see it carries through to that side profile. Oh, that is slick. Love it. <laughs> Look at that grid. Too cool. Now inside is a Miyota quartz movement combined uh, with an in-house patented module with five LEDs. It's powered by lithium three volt batteries and they're converted into 1.5 volts for the movement uh, by that internal watch system. So pretty neat uh, design. You can see a bit of the, uh, at least two batteries here uh, on the dial. And they say it's about a two to three year battery life if you don't use the light, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, but if you do use it, say, uh, three times a day, then you get about 20 months. When you hit this top pusher, you get all those LEDs. Oh, that's sweet. Looks like it lights up for about three or four seconds and then turns off. Don't think you can hold it down and get any longer. Uh, no, so. It's trying to help you not drain the battery because you know you're gonna be <laughs> pushing that a few times. I'm already taking months off of the life of, the <laughs> of this watch. And let's just see what they're talking, oh wow. Okay, so look at that. Okay, nothing has got loom on it, but it's UV reflective uh, printing. So there's, that's what they're talking about. Look at the uh, seconds hand, uh, the disc in the middle, and then obviously that green grid and the little features on uh, the strap as well. So that's what they're talking about with the, uh, the UV uh, reflective printing. Oh, and there's a credit card holder uh, in the package as well. And look at this, it's got, uh, it's actually loomed. <laughs> Electrical phenomenon. Okay, so back to the specs of the watch. Uh, these pushers are not screwed down. So you've got, uh, looks like a snap on, snap off case back. So just 30 meters of water resistance with this watch. So just talking about some splashing here. And back to the strap, uh, it feels pretty good. It almost feels like FKM, but not quite. It's not as silky as uh, silicone. So I feel like it's FKM, but I'm not really sure. Uh, great looking gunmetal gray uh, tang and buckle. Oh, look at that. It's got some polishing to it that looks phenomenal. Love it two uh, keepers that are floating uh, only held in place 
uh, by the nubs here on the strap. And of course, that means you could take off one of these if you don't need both of them. And a cool touch to their pusher, it's got their signed logo on it. And then look at the main crown. It's got like a flathead screw. <laughs> Love the knurling on this as well. And giving you a 360 of the case now, you see the electrician embossed into the mid case. And it looks like that uh, uh, design pattern is pretty evenly applied throughout. Okay, let's get some measurements now. This is listed as a 45 millimeter diameter watch uh, with 38 millimeters uh, on the inside, uh, basically, you know, the dial. Uh, but it looks kind of smaller than that to me. I don't, that 38 to 45, I don't see that, but let's just see what we get. Kind of hard to find a good middle ground here, but yeah, see, I'm showing 47 millimeters. Wow. Yeah, everywhere I get. That's a big difference between 45, but again, it doesn't even look the 45, so uh, that's pretty weird. Uh, as an example, I'm wearing the Roadland Turbine watch today, and it's about 43 millimeters. But you can see the electricians actually kind of almost look smaller, right? Well, I don't know. I'll show you a wrist shot here in a minute, and we'll get the definitive. Lug to lug of 54.3. Lug width of 22 millimeters for your straps. These do have quick release spring bars, by the way and a thickness of 13.1 millimeters. And I'm sure a lot of that's gonna come from that crystal. That looks to be at least a millimeter or two. Yeah, case back to the bezel is 11.4 millimeters. And it weighs 88 grams on the supplied strap. And this is what it looks like on my eight inch wrist. See what I said that, uh, I mean, obviously I've got a big wrist, so it looks a lot more at home, but that does not look like a 47 millimeter watch. Uh, it feels like a, maybe a 44. So, yeah, it might be too big for a lot of people, but, um, man, I don't know. It just fits well on me, that's for sure. Love this strap. Feels good. Got plenty of holes for smaller wrists, too, as you can see, and even larger wrists. I'm, uh, what, third from the last? You know, uh, my first thought on this the grid pattern here on the crystal was that you couldn't really tell the time very well. You know, can't see through it, but it just depends on the distance and the lighting. I mean, you can see that handset pretty easily right now. But up close, it almost looks like a distraction. So again, you're not gonna be viewing the watch this closely. But while we're here, let's go in even tighter. So you can see some print on that crystal from the underside, it says Decrypt ELZ Project. V012 and enable light to get access. All right, we're in. <laughs> Got that ELZ logo here above that uh, single battery. And then you see here access granted on the bottom. That inner dial is pretty cool though. You see the diodes for the uh, indices, uh, which is where you get that light uh, shining through. Uh, and then the handset with the, uh, the green tip uh, on the hour hand and then near the pinion on the minute hand. I like that. And that disc is pretty cool too. This is a Swiss company and Swiss design. The Electrician's Crypto Edition is available directly from their website. The link is listed down below. These run about 325 US dollars with free worldwide shipping and a two year warranty. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, you can actually pay with cryptocurrency. Now, if you'd like to win this watch, the electricians are going to send you out a fresh new one if you're the winner. Now, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and follow the Instagram account of the electricians. The link is down below in the description. Then if you leave a comment on this video, I'll select a random comment picker to choose the winner. Uh, see the full contest rules in the description down below, including the giveaway date. Wow, it's pretty cool to see something uh, out of the ordinary, but not over the top, huh? neat watch from the electricians. Hey, check out this video here if you got time. I'll catch you over there. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time and money.